Good day everyone, Saviors, GH here. Today we're going to take a look at our Ditto, Assassin, and Shinobi. We're gonna take a look at the classes, what they do, and tell you guys the reason why I included each of these classes in this build, the good and the bad, and some of my thoughts at the end of the video. And with that said, let's do this. Okay, here is our Ditto, Assassin, and Shinobi. Let's start with our Ditto. Our Ditto is a class that attacks their close range targets using daggers and grenades. And this class is here primarily for showcasing its changes. Let's take a look at the skills. First off is Granata. It's a freaking grenade throw that knocks down enemies with a very high skill factor attack. And with our Ditto Assault attribute taken, every time you use this, you get 3 stacks of gunpowder buff, which increases all critical rate of skills except pistol only skills. Second skill is Red TRC. It's a grenade throw but with an added jump back. And while you're jumping back, you're immune to damage. It's another attack with high skill factor, and every time you use it, you get 3 stacks of gunpowder buff. Next skill is Tray Granate. Try grenade. This allows you to throw 3 molotovs at a designated area that inflicts damage. And like Granata and Retiarsi, you also get 3 stacks of gunpowder buff when using this. Next skill is Taglio. It's a slash attack that you can continually hold for 8 seconds. It consumes stamina. Fifth skill is Recupero. This skill can recover small amounts of HP and stamina. And there's an art for this that removes the HP recovery which is useless anyway and change it to remove stamina consumption of Taglio. And what's good about this is there's a mistress dagger for Taglio that allows Taglio to be continually used until your stamina is depleted. And if you have the recupero art that gives a 30 seconds buff that removes Taglio's stamina consumption, you can potentially use Taglio for a long time. Last skill is Invasion. It's a pretty decent pierce attack that gives 3 stacks of fresh blood when you have the Ardito Assault attribute. And you can use Invasion 3 times which results in 9 stacks of fresh blood. And what fresh blood does is increase dagger critical damage by 2% and damage from dagger by 2% per stack. And I almost forgot, Taglio also gives 3 stacks of fresh blood. And that's our Ditto. It's a decent class but something is missing here because I think IMC plans to change another class so that it would be the tag team class of our Ditto. Because right now, there isn't. Anyway, let's head on to Assassin. Now, Assassin is a class that is usually taken because of its skills that can increase crit damage, crit rate, add mobility, eye frame, and more attacks. And that's exactly why it's here. Let's take a look at the skills. First off is Hasisas. This is one of the main reasons this class is here because this can give more critical damage and since this build has a very high crit rate, you will definitely make use of Hasisas. Now, there's a Ski Eclipse Snipe for this that further increases the critical damage effect of Hasisas. Get that, it's gonna be useful. Next skill is Annihilation. It's an area attack that also makes you immune to damage. This one is a pretty good skill. Some only put one level on it because they only use it to avoid damage and some max it out because Annihilation has a pretty high skill factor and with this build, I maxed it out because it needs more area damage. Third skill is Instant Acceleration. It's your mobility skill. Use this to get out of a bad situation. It can also stun. Fourth skill is Hallucination Smoke. This reduces enemy evasion and crit resist. And there's an art for this that gives it the ability to inflict assassination target debuff and that makes the inflicted target a priority of behead teleportation and the target also receives more damage from dagger attacks. Next skill is behead. This damages the enemy and makes them bleed and in pvp, behead allows you to move behind the enemy to attack. Last skill is piercing heart. It's an attack that ignores enemy defense and stops enemies from recovering. And this also accelerates skills that makes enemies bleed. And also with the proper attribute, it can also increase your crit rate by 50% for 10 seconds. It's a pretty good skill, especially with the right class combination. 
and that's Assassin, a pretty good class that works with every build. Savor it, cause IMC plans to nerf this one. And now, the last class, Shinobi. Now, Shinobi is a class that are familiar with special tactics called Ninjutsu. It's usually taken because of damage increase and abilities that can help in mobbing and boss fighting. Let's take a look at the skills. First skill is Bunshino Jutsu. This allows you to summon two shadow clones that can imitate Shinobi's skill. And there's three attributes for this that gives it an additional effect. First is Bunshino Jutsu Tai, which gives you knockdown and knockback immunity and also reduces damage taken. Second is Bunshino Jutsu Gen. This one gives you the ability to inflict stun, silence, slow, and blind. Third is Bunshino Jutsu Jin. This improves the capability of some pure shinobi skills. I will just mention the improvements as I explain each shinobi skills. Those are the three attributes for Bunshino Jutsu. Next are the skills that can be imitated. First skill that can be imitated is Raito no Jutsu. It's a lightning pierce attack that can be imitated by clones. And when the Jin attribute is on, its area of attack widens. Next is Kunai. It's a multi-hitting pierce type attack that can hit multiple enemies. It can also be imitated by clones. This one is not affected by Jin attribute. Third is Katon no Jutsu. It's a fire type attack that can deal multiple hits depending on the hitbox of the enemy. It can also be imitated by clones. And when the Jin attribute is on, it gets a chance to invoke a flame under the enemy that also deals damage. Now, all of those shinobi skills when clones are present and they hit an enemy, they generate one stack of ninjutsu bako buff. And one stack is a possible 1% of physical damage increase. And you can only consume ninjutsu bako buff by using Nijin no Jutsu, which converts the ninjutsu bako buff to ninjutsu sato buff, which increases physical damage depending on the number of ninjutsu bako buff. Last skill that can be imitated is Meiji Nijutsu. It's an area attack that packs a punch. And when the Jin attribute is on, upon using Meiji no Jutsu, it will deal multi hit first before initiating Meiji no Jutsu main attack. And lastly, Mokuto no Jutsu. It's a party buff that can be triggered when you're hit by enemies. And what it does is increase movement speed and reduce damage taken. And that's Shinobi. Right now, it's great for pretty much everything. Pistol or dagger, mobbing or boss fighting. And that's the build. Now let's do the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad. First off is the lack of real direct synergy or classes that benefits from each other. Most of the classes here works in some way, but it's more of a general way. Not exactly the kind of synergy that defines a class build. Next is compared to the top DPS scout build at the moment, which is Assassin, BM, and Sheriff, it pales in comparison. Lastly, it's not particularly good at anything. Now for the good stuff. I said it's not particularly good at anything because it's decent for most of the content you're gonna encounter. Its mobbing capability is nice, not exactly a shining example of a mobbing build, but it works. Its boss fighting capability is also nice, but not exactly the best, but it works. You have a few mobility skills here that can help you in a bad situation, and also two iframes that will definitely prove useful in a dangerous situation. In offfield defense, this will function great because of its good balance of mobbing and single target DPS. In challenge mode, this will definitely help especially if you know what you're doing, and range for the most part, it will do well. And free dungeon bosses will not be a problem because you have everything here. Iframe, mobility, and damage. All in all, this is a great build, especially for new players that's just looking for a class build that works and fun to play with. But if you're looking for a dagger build that GH recommend, at the moment, September 2020, I would recommend checking out Assassin, Linker, and Rangda. And for Pistol, it's Bullet Marker, Sheriff, and Assassin. It might change in the future, so just ask in the comment section down below. And that's it guys, I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, just comment down below. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, 
and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family and as always this is gaming hardcore see you in the next one Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it.